in Massachusetts tonight. So much great history here on the ice. Four, four, Esposito. Let's see what's in store tonight. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Canadians take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Quick pass to Suzuki. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Cuts to the front. Now a quick pass to Cooley. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Matheson. Delay penalty coming up here. Looks like slashing is the call. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. This has been a stifling game. No goals yet, but now this power play has an opportunity to break through. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Picked up along the wall by Lindholm. Broken up with a stick. Lindholm's got it in the defensive end. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. The Canadians have it from their own end. Here they come. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. The Bruins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Works it across to Nosek. Puck picked up by Hathaway. Quick shot! Oh, gets a pat on that one! What a stop by Allen! Bergeron's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Brust's ready to join the play. Quick feed to Carlo. Oh, solid save by Allen. I like the way that he stops this puck, James. Not only does he get in front of it, but he puts it out of harm's way. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Poked away at center by Shekai. Poor pass on the play, and the puck leaves the zone. Moves the puck. Moves it to Gallagher. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Well, it's going to be a couple of penalties called on this play, James. Uh, offsetting penalties, no power plays will result. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. If you can get the puck early on a four-on-four, -four, the key is to hold on to it as long as you can. Wear the opponent down. Make yourself develop a really good scoring chance. Krejci's gained the line and on the attack. Here's a shot! And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Takes a wow. shot! Score! A Bruins goal! Boston's effort pays off with a 1-0 lead. And now it has to be relentless. Just because you're up by one doesn't mean you sit back. The Bruins win the faceoff. Oh, I had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Through center. Centering pass! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Boston's got it in their own zone. Scooped up along the wall by Pasternak. Takes it to the net! Puck scooped up by Clifton. The Bruins have it behind the cage. Here he is with the backhander, and the puck skips off the glove. Smothered that in close chance. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. And there's the whistle icing the call. Here in the late goings of the period, the Bruins lead it 1-0. Puck has dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he got right over top of that one. That's a big face-off win for him. Poked away in the neutral zone by Gallagher. 
From the point, looks to make something happen. Great defensive effort with the stick. Boston's in now. DeBrusque's got it behind the net. Cutting to the slot. Great stick saved by Allen. That happened so quickly, that low slot shot. The goaltender's in position, and he makes the save. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Montreal's players and coaches weren't very happy after that first period. They all knew that... Scores! The captain comes through! The Bruins have gone up by two here in this second period. Really like the way they've gone about their business. They haven't lost any of their aggressiveness. They've still stayed and tried to forecheck. I like it, and they deserve this two-goal lead. Takes it to the front, and they do it again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Picked up along the boards by Suzuki. Takes that pass back to the point. And he lays out to block that one. Boston's got a hold of the puck. And that's taken away. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Nice pass. Montreal's got the puck against the half wall. Back to the blue line. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Boston's gained the line and into the zone. Into the corner. And that's broken up. Stays with it. Right in front with the shot. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Puck grabbed by Edmondson. The Canadians carry it along the wall. And he scores. The Canadians are back to center ice, and they have narrowed that gap. Cut the lead in half. The comeback's on. Now they must push forward, see if they can get the equalizer. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Sends a pass over. Carlos moving it ahead. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Boston's got the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Stopped with ease. Oh, what another stop! Goalie coaches are always working on following and tracking the puck. He stopped one. Now you gotta stop the second. Well, another long skate to the sin bin looms here, and the fans are getting tired. Now this is frustration. It's not even anger anymore. They're just tired of seeing penalty after penalty called on the home team. No sex won the face off. Takes the feed. Montreal's got the puck here in the open ice. Slides it quickly to Korianov. Slides it to Truang. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Great pass from off the right side. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And that pass doesn't go. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Let's get the call. We're going to have to regroup here shorthanded. But the penalty killers can get the job done. They can get back to trying to tie this game up. And now it's grabbed by Orlov. And that goes off a body. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Drives to the paint! Allen's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. 
Suzuki's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. He's sharp on this one. Out on the score! Is there a danger of being complacent now late in the period? It's not complacency. The danger is that you start to defend and you sit back and give them one chance that might make this a one-goal game. Great reflexes, another save. Oh, that's a smart heads-up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Bruins now lead by two. Boston's won the draw. Second intermission approaching quickly here. The Canadians gain control of the puck against Whoa. the wall. Scores! Well, timing is everything. Is it ever? That's a kick in the pants to give up one that late. But that should give the other team some momentum going into the next period. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Krejci's won the draw. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Can't make it work. All right, that brings the period to an end. Ray and Carlin both off to get some poutine from the concessions. I'm gonna grab some popcorn, and we're coming back with period number three in moments. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is between both benches. Ray, what do you make of the first two periods tonight? Montreal's wasted a lot of their effort so far. They haven't gotten into the inside of the ice, James, so while they seem to be fine in the game, they don't possess the puck enough to wear down the opposition. Taken by Orloff. Sends the pass in front, and that's intercepted. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And with the delay penalty called, they get the extra attacker out here on the ice. Let's see what the officials say. That lead's pretty fragile, James. Here they are, you're shorthanded. Only a one-goal lead, and your penner killers better do the job for you. Olmark's got that X-ray zone ability, and that's when he battles to stay with the play, even when there's a screen in front of his crease. Pasternak won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Sends it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Canadians have it against the wall, and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Boston's got it in their own zone. Directs it on over to Lindholm. They've got a three-on-one! Denied by the puck stopper. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Bergeron's time is almost done. The Canadians fail to capitalize on the power play. His reflexes on display tonight. Oh, turns it aside once again! He shows off his focus and his athleticism, making two unbelievable back-to-back -back stops. Denies him in front. Blast. Oh, what a save with the glove by Olmark. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Bruins have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Boston's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Oh, what a play. High scores on the rebound. Go to the bank. 
You want goals? Go to the front of the net. The rebound's there, and he cashes it in. Boston's won it. Puck picked up by Orlov. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Puck exits the zone. And now it's grabbed by McAvoy. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Hoffman. Barron's moving the puck through his own zone. Passes on over to Nosek. And that's poked away. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. The pass out front. Picked off in front. Slides the puck over. Delayed penalty looming. Quick whistle stops the play. Hathaway's ill intentions have resulted in a charging penalty. The Canadians once again send out their power play unit and what a golden opportunity here. They were going over some footage on their tablets right before they came out for the power play. I hope they looked at the right part of the video because some of this has been ugly tonight. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Carlos picking up steam. The Bruins will play it against the boards. He scores! A short-handed marker! I don't think their penalty kill has ever really looked for a short, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. Boston's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. The Bruins have it now. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Poked away at center by Orlov. The Canadians' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the short-handed goal, a sloppy power play, and they pay for it. Denies him! He got all of it! Here in the later stages of this period, Boston's got a three-goal lead. The Bruins win the draw. Grabbed along the board by Lindholm. Moves it quickly over to Krejci. And that's stolen by Dvorak. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And another call against the home team. It's just one of those nights. Yeah, I don't know how the night's going to get much better here. You can feel the frustration on the ice, but you can hear it from the fans. They've had it. The Canadians send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, the power play gets a few words from the coaches as they jump onto the ice. A little reminder about the shorthanded goal they gave up earlier on. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Sends it over to Krizlik. No sex lugging the puck. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Drouin. Moves it to the middle. A blast! The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Moves inside. He scores! Another shorthanded marker. You don't see that often. No, they're not a very passive group killing penalties, are they? That's a couple of times where they've just taken advantage of a mistake and raced up the ice. Truex is looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the pass. There's a save by Allen. And the face goal. And they convert with the man advantage. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. Sends it over to Anderson. There's the hole. 